Devils settle into their first possession. And buckle up. As Robert Morris is in gray, Duke in blue and white. We are underway. The 2022 college lacrosse season. Buckle up, strap in, enjoy the roller coaster that is from now until Memorial Day as the Blue Devils settle into their first possession. How about it? Brennan O'Neill, a flamethrower, 15 seconds into the season to open the scoring. What's going to be the key for Robert Morris today to stay in this game as Duke takes it away and cashes in on the other end just like that two nothing early blue devils jake caputo in the transition in the fall or the spring but jay they have competitive in-house scrimmages the blue white scrimmages they treat them like games with officials and it's go time when they get back on campus robert morris wants to run that's exactly what they do that up-tempo style James Leary has to be able to match the athletes of Duke. You know, we're averaging a goal every 30 seconds in this game, so we told you to buckle up. <laughs> Helmet flying after the faceoff. Owen Caputo running on the second line midfield. That was Grant Mitchell, the transfer out of Ohio State. There's Mitchell, went low and snuck it by Liam Rosenthal. How about that for a debut in a Blue Devil uniform? Guys like Corson Keeley, he will be playing professional indoor lacrosse for a long time. 23 for Robert Morris. Great feed on the doorstep and finished. Dyson Williams in perfect position. The slow so smart in his IQ and finding his teammates is his secret sauce. You know, the headline may read. Duke loses Michael Sowers, but don't be fooled. This is a Blue Devils team that returned 66% of their scoring from a year ago. They've got a ton of firepower. Garrett Ledman's one of them, and it's 5-1 Duke in the opening five minutes of this season. A lot of different personnel, and they are going to spread the ball around. Here's Nakai Montgomery. First time we're seeing his name today. Great feed in front, and another Duke goal. And McAdoo is a senior at St. Anthony's a year ago, named USA Lacrosse's National Player of the Year. Scores his first goal with a Duke uniform. Six goals, six different goal scores. And they're getting more. Jake Naso, the Fogo. What does he bring to that front line? For the Blue Devils. Calmness. O'Neal again. Brennan O'Neal, two goals to his name early, and Duke is just making it look easy. Here's Joe Robertson. Aiden Denenza, 88 and wide, perfectly placed down the alley. It fired past Liam Rosenthal. First goal of the season for a... <laughs> Curling around. Brennan O'Neill, a first quarter hat trick. Gape is loaded in 2022, and there isn't a guy on that list that you would say, what, what's he doing here? But it's just to me, omitting O'Neill was, was, was kind of like a, hmm, head scratcher. Robert Morris pulls one back here. Taggart Clark, the senior out of Ontario. Nice play by Clark. Well, they want to play fast. And after a Duke 8 0 run, two goals in less than 10 seconds for Robert. Could have done better after the last season. He said, we got to get the ball into the. Stick of 34 and wide, Brennan O'Neill a lot more. And they've done that in the opening quarter. Three of Duke's 10 goals. And Robert Morris starts the second quarter with a goal cashing in on the extra man. Good opportunity here. Still 10 seconds on the extra man. Great feed, Johansson put it right on the money. Easy finish inside. It, it feels like they come home, Canadians tell him. And you know, pipeline is an understatement. It's really just Canada South. 
The Duke answers right back after a 4-0 run from Robert Morris. Exactly what field in practice every day outside of Matt Donowski, who's the offensive coordinator and the assistant coach. So Nakai, what I'm so impressed with him is he's never forcing. He sees plays and then he makes them. An answer right back. Robert Morris not going away. Taggart Clark. That's what you can't afford to do, Robert no. Morris. You get a great stop and you give it right back. Exactly. That, that's a clearing opportunity. And then you have a dagger-like play from Duke. And the pipes give this Duke defense a ton. Two things about the Duke defense from a confidence perspective. Adler and then 19 and white, Wilson Stevenson. I think those are two communicators and quarterbacks on the defensive end. But Adler doesn't have the answer to that one. And Robert Morris, coach, and he's an impressive young guy. It was the defensive coach at UMass, and he can't be happy with his defense right now. Brandon O'Neill face. O'Neill 34 and white in the middle. He scored on the last extra man. This time it's Dyson Williams painting. The and Robert Morris there, you, you get the stop, you get the ground ball. Just chuck it up to your offensive side, right? Like, just don't throw it behind the cage. O'Neill. Are you kidding me? I thought maybe the side netting. Now you can't question it with Brennan O'Neill, the side that don't equate to possessions. There are goalie stops that aren't giving you possessions. You cannot beat Duke like that. And what does Duke do? They cash in on the other end through Dyson Williams. You can't give the Blue Devils extra possessions. Robert Morris has missed their last eight shots, trying to end that streak here in the do through Corson Keeley, the preseason ACC Network, a doubleheader in women's basketball, NC State at BC, and the Duke at Clemson. That's Thursday right here on the ACC Network. Charlie O'Connor, how about that? Didn't think he had the angle, but blew it past Rosenthal. Game, you know, you shoot around 30%, you score 15. Keeley, great look, and he catches in. Corson Keeley, a hat trick. For Morris, offense can come up with out of the timeout. Lost the footing, kept the play alive, though, and it leads to a goal. Camping out on the inside, Jake Boudreau. The crack tempo. You know, Duke shot out of a cannon. A lot of speed, fast pace in that first quarter. They get 10 goals in the second and third. They had to milk the shot clock, played slower. Well, when you're up 10-1, wow, what a pass. What a wow, pass by McAdory. And then behind the back, sports at 12 school, and you, you care and you prioritize athletics like Pac-12 schools do. You, you really want to have an opportunity to get that automatic bid. So I think the biggest conference type of boost for a team in this offseason was Utah. Tagger Clark cashing in a hot potato. I, I think there's a ton of coachable moments here when they turn on the film of really good things they did and, and just goals they gave Duke. Here's O'Neal, a handful, puts it in. Brennan O'Neal, a huge... With, with long possession stops and then giving it back to Duke. This has been a disaster for them. Duke on the extra man today, two of five. Wow, flamethrower. Oh, and Caputo rear back in five time. It was Duke turning it over. Here come the Colonials in transition. They want to play fast and capitalize in transition, and that's exactly what they do through Taggart Clark. And that's his four college lacrosse back the defending champs in Boston College and Charlotte North. The game was awesome in 2021 in women's lacrosse, and it could be even better this year. More than 450 women's lacrosse games across ESPN networks, more than 250 men's games, and it all started today on ACC Network. Duke wins it 21 to 12 over Robert Morris for Paul Carcaterra. I'm Jay Alter. Lacrosse is back, everybody. Enjoy the ride. Let's get you to some wrestling.